It's Olivia. Obviously. Today we're going to be making my favorite super simplest pad thai. So you're just going to need some rice noodles, some tofu, some green beans, green onion. I just use the top, but you can use the whole onion if you want. Uh, juice from half of a lime, which works out to be, I think, around one to two tablespoons. And some snow peas, because who doesn't like snow peas? So, to make the sauce, all you have to do is mix all of the ingredients together in a bowl. So, it's pretty hard to mess that up. Um, all of the exact amounts and all the information will be in a link in the description box below. But essentially, you just mix it together. Um, I used half a tablespoon of sriracha, which is really spicy, so if you don't want it really spicy, definitely use less. And that little chunky thing I just put in was miso, which we use just to have like that kind of like salty, almost fishy flavor uh, that's in traditional pad thai. But if you don't have miso, honestly, don't worry about it. Like it's really not a big deal. It's just something extra if you have. Um, it can be a nice touch to put in, but again, like don't go out and buy a tub of miso just to put in a tiny, tiny little clump of it because that would be dumb. So yeah, all you have to do is mix everything together and yeah, oh, looks so good. Okay, well it doesn't look good, but it looks like it's going to be good. <laughs> so yeah, and then you just need to boil your water and add your noodles and cook it for the amount of time it says on the package. I think mine's like five minutes. And then you stir fry your onions and your tofu and then add in the rest of the vegetables a little bit after just so that they don't get like soggy. And then drain your pasta when it's done and add it to the frying pan with your veggies. And then you're going to put the sauce on top and stir it around. Keep it on the heat for a few minutes just so that it like absorbs the sauce and really gets all the flavors mixed together. And we're not using oil in this one, which is how a traditional pad thai is made. So yeah, um, clearly it's not going to be, you know, exactly the same as traditional, but this stuff is amazing and I make it like once a week. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just make sure you cook it long enough and really give it some time to absorb the flavor. And then I like to be super intense and put it on spinach, but I mean, it's totally optional. I don't know. I just really like spinach. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys make it and you enjoy it. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe so that they just pop up in your feed and you can have delicious food all the time. Okay, bye.